Good morning vlog! Today we are taking it pretty easy and chill. We are going to a German restaurant because Michael wants to check out what a German restaurant is like in Taiwan because he's learning German. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. We're gonna see if the food is any good. I'm actually very curious about it too. And then other than that, we're gonna be pretty chill. Whatever we end up doing, I'll take you guys along with us. So let's go to the German restaurant. like you're running the restaurant. You're like, welcome. Hello, uh, Guten Tag. Welcome. Welcome This is the pretzel with butter. We also got a side of sweet mustard, they called it. Trying the pretzel with mustard. Mmm. Oh, wow. It is really soft on the inside. Yeah. It's nice. It has a little chew. And the mustard, yeah, it's a little sweet. Not like hella sweet, but. Mmm. We also got a side order of their traditional sausage. I think it's called Weist. Best. Pretty good, but I got a thumbs up. <laughs> so it translates to white sausage. I like this um squiggle that they put. It's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> the presentation. <laughs> and then we also got this schnitzel. Is this it's pork, right? Yeah, not only pork. Okay, so it's a pork and it's so big. Look at that. Compared to my hand, it's huge. And it also comes with some fries and a little side salad. Looks yummy. Let's try a fry. Oh, mmm, it's so hot and crispy. It's nice. Mmm. Get some of the sausage with the mustard. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, not bad, but it is lean. Yeah, it's not as juicy, for sure, but not bad. Now the pork schnitzel. Mmm. Nice, light, crispy breading. The pork, it is on the leaner side, but it's also not like super dry. Yeah, it's not like hella juicy, but it's not dry. Try it with the mustard. Mm, pleasantly surprised. Okay, this is a peach black tea with sweet cream, cold foam, and rose jam. I think I got that correct. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Not bad. I'm not mad at it. The foam adds this nice creaminess. You get a peach flavor from the iced tea. I don't get that much of the rose jam flavor, but I'm not mad about that either. I don't love when rose is like super floral. Not bad. <laughs> Cold stone tea guanyin latte and classic milk tea with brown bubbles. Okay, we are back at the Airbnb now and I picked up a few things from 7-Eleven. First, I got this Yakult. I need the probiotics. I usually every day have my smoothie in the morning, as you guys know, and it has athletic greens in it. So that's how I get a lot of my probiotics or whatever. But since I don't have my athletic greens with me, and I haven't been drinking my smoothie. I definitely need some. So let's see if it tastes the same as the US. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty much the same. Tart, but also refreshing. Then I also got this Cold Stone Tie Guanying Latte ice cream. Oh, it's actually bubble Tie Guanying Latte. So it has boba in it. Oh, it comes with a little spoon inside. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess that's supposed to be the boba. Can you guys see? It's like kind of soft and squishy. It's probably like a mochi kind of thing. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Soft and squishy boba. I mean, I'm sure it's just mochi because if you freeze actual boba, it'll be really, really hard. But yeah, not bad. 
I am always skeptical when it says that there's boba in ice cream because it would be hard or whatever, but this one's actually soft. And this one, it doesn't look like there's any of those boba pieces inside, only on the top. But the Jieguanyin latte ice cream, actually not bad either. Not so much Jieguanyin flavor. It gives more of a hoji cha flavor. But I like hoji cha, so I have no issue with it. Honestly, I had low expectations, but it's not bad. And then I also picked this up, which is a Cold Stone Classic Milk Tea with Brown Bubbles. I am also skeptical about this, we'll find out. Oh. It has some um, freezer burn on there. <laughs> oh, but then this side has the Cold Stone logo. Look at that. It's like in this kind of pancake thing, almost like a doriyaki. And the ice cream is in between and you can see the boba. We'll see. Ooh, kind of nervous. Hmm. Okay, so the boba is soft. I wonder if they use the same boba as in this thing that we just tried. Cause it is soft and chewy as well. Surprisingly, this pancake is really soft. Like it doesn't even feel like it was frozen. The ice cream itself is just okay. I prefer this ice cream. If they put this ice cream in here, I think I would like that. It's not bad. Definitely not like a must try or anything, but I'm just glad the boba was soft. <laughs> Good morning vlog! Today we are taking it pretty chill too. So yesterday was chill, today is also chill, although we are going to a night market later. But we are about to head out to lunch. We're going to a Vietnamese restaurant because Michael wants to check it out and it looks pretty good on the reviews. So it's also our last full day in Taiwan, which is really sad, but I'm excited to go to Japan, so not that sad. <laughs> I'll be back in Taiwan afterwards anyway, but I'm sad that this is my last day with this view. Just look at this beautiful window. It's so pretty. And then of course, this one in the kitchen. I really enjoyed this Airbnb. So I will link it below if any of you guys have a trip to Taiwan coming up and you wanna find a place to stay. The location's great. It's a really nice Airbnb. I really liked it. The only downside being that this bathroom is really, really small. But other than that, everything's been great. But yeah, I'm getting hungry. So let's head to lunch. Michael ordered the pho. I think it just comes with beef. It's just beef, right? Okay. <laughs> oh no. I wanted to like it. I really did. Aww. Right. Maybe this will help brighten the up lime. Up. Yes, the lime might help. <laughs> didn't help much. Okay, my bun me just came. Looking a little sad, if I'm being honest. Usually it's much more colorful. Where's the cilantro? No cilantro. I don't know about this one. Not good? No bueno? The pork is so dry. It's hard to swallow. Oh no. I've never had a bun me like this. Not in a good way. I think the only nice thing is that the bread is like nice and crispy on the outside, but the pork is really, really, really dry. And there's like no cilantro, barely any pickled vegetables. Sad. Mm. Whoa. It's so creamy. Oh my God. This is not your normal egg tart for sure. It has like a cookie crust and I can't get over the creamy filling. It's good, but it's also really dense and heavy. Like, I feel like I need to share this one. Okay, you guys, the Viet restaurant was not good. It was definitely the bun mi, ooh, probably the worst bun mi I've ever had. I'm so sad. I wanted it to be good, but anyway, we're still hungry. <laughs> so uh, we found this place, Maple Tree House. Apparently it's from Korea. Michael's had it in Korea and he said it was good in Korea. So we'll see if the Taiwan one is good and they open in three minutes. See, they're not open yet, but we're gonna check it out. 
All right, we just got seated. We're sitting at the bar because we didn't have a reservation and I guess all their tables are booked out through reservation. So pro tip, if you don't want to sit at the bar, then definitely make a reservation. All right, these are the little side dishes they give. They give a salad with this interesting dressing. It looks like black sesame. I've never seen black sesame dressing before. Oh, and then there's like a seaweed, uh, cucumbers, tofu, and kimchi. Mm. Whoa, the kimchi is like, I don't know, extra fermented or something. Extra flavored. Mm. I do like the seaweed. Seaweed is really good. So since we got two sets of meat, each set comes with soup. So this is the soybean soup, and then we also have the kimchi soup, and also comes with rice. Kimchi soup. Hot. <laughs> Whoa. I feel like the kimchi has like such an interesting flavor here. It's very strong flavor, very sour. We also got cold noodles. Mm. Mm. It's really nice to eat naengmyeon cold noodles with Korean barbecue because it helps like cool you down. Wow, it has a really nice crisp on the outside and then the, the inside is so juicy. Of course we have to get steamed egg, look at that. It's <laughs> so fluffy. One of my favorites. Soft and fluffy, you gotta have steamed egg with your Korean barbecue. Out of the two soups, I like the soybean one more. Mm. You like the kimchi one more? Oh, huh? Sizzling. Now it's time to try the beef. Mmm. Has like a black pepper flavor, the beef. Mm. Oh, onion. Very good. Yeah. Oh, mushroom. Very good. Yeah, I think the beef is like marinated before. Yeah. I think the pork is the star of the show, but the beef is good too. Yeah. Yummy. Last night we came to this place, Milksha, and we liked it, so we're back. Last night we couldn't get a milk tea because, you know, caffeine. So now we're back in the daytime to try the milk tea, see if it's good. Actually, Michael's the one who ordered the milk tea, but he's gonna let me have a sip. <laughs> Let's see. Boba's chewy, a little harder than I prefer. I usually like mine pretty soft, but the milk tea flavor is very fragrant. I need my Yakult. Need my oh, <laughs> perfect. Did she give you the Yakult 1000? What is what, Yakult 1000? The only one in Japan. Oh, in, at 7-Eleven? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my god, look at this Pikachu. Oh my god, they have uh, Anna. And these are hella cute too. Banana milk. Oh my god, these are the BTS people, right? Yeah, Jimin. Jimin again, Is that still him? No, it's me. Ah. Oh, coffee and then taro, gin. Oh. All right, we are back on the hunt for papaya milk. This place is right next to our Airbnb, so we decided to just stop by. Hopefully this one's good. Looks promising. They literally have boxes of papaya out. <laughs> just like lots of papaya. So hope it's good. <laughs> And here it is. Give it a try. Is it better than the other ones? It's better. Better? It's not as sweet as I thought, again, like I would like. Oh, you want it sweeter? But well, this one is really nice and cold. Mmm. Like, really nice and cold. I like it when they do that. Yeah, it's like blended. Mm. Oh, I love the blendedness. And yeah, it has a good papaya flavor. Maybe a little more sugar. Mm-hmm. 
but this is the best one we tried so far. I think there's one at the night market we're gonna go to later though. Yeah. All right, so we are back at the Airbnb now, and I realized I totally forgot to try these chips from 7-Eleven. So let's try this one first. It's Lay's, and I'm not exactly sure what the flavor is, but it looks like ribs. Oh, it smells, I don't know, it smells potato-y, but also kind of meaty. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Okay, this is bringing back some memories. I feel like every meat flavored chip tastes the same. None of them tastes different <laughs> in my experience. It has like a tanginess, a sweetness, a little umaminess. Not bad, but not amazing either. Next, we have these Heidi Lao branded ones. It's a Sichuan spicy hot pot flavor. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That smells like. It smells kind of like hot pot actually, but also kind of smells like ramen packet seasoning. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look like super spicy. I don't know. I'm kind of worried about the spice level, but let's try. Hmm. It's definitely different. Definitely has a little bit of that spicy hot pot flavor. Out of the two, I like this one more. The spice is building as I eat more of them. Not bad. I want. Michael to try the 7-Eleven papaya milk. They have other flavors too, like they have apple and I forget the other flavors, but yeah. Mm, this is good, it's nice and sweet. Yeah, this one's way sweeter than mm. the ones you get at the stalls. I wish I had this in a blended form. I know, yeah, that'd be so good. It's really good. I had to get my Yakult. This time I got two because I feel like yesterday's was not working as as good, just drinking one. And each of these is only eight Taiwan dollars, which is like 20 cents, I wanna say. That's cheap. It's so cheap. It's so good. Yeah. And it's just like a big Yakult too, because the ones in the US are it's smaller. smaller. Yeah. I noticed that when I held it in my hand. Yeah. Once again, <laughs> at this station. We're at this station, and we have to go all the way to that station. 13 stops, wow. Okay, you guys, I got confused because it's been so long since I've been in Taiwan. So we're going to the Shuling night market. So I thought that we would go get off at the Shuling MRT station, but it turns out we're actually supposed to get off at the station right before Shuling night market. So pro tip, don't get off at the Shuling station, get off at the one before. I think it's called like Jian Tan or something. I don't know the name because once we got off the train station, I was like, wait, this is so weird. Like I remember the train stations right across from the night market, but like Google Maps was telling me I had to walk 10 minutes. I was like, something seems wrong. And that's what it is. I got off at the wrong station. So don't be like me. <laughs> we made it, yay. vlog i am back at the airbnb now we unfortunately didn't get any papaya milk in the night market the place that i thought was at the night market wasn't there i don't know if they're not there anymore or something i'm not quite sure anyway we still had a good amount of papaya milk we had a pretty good one earlier today and then of course there's a seven love and one so that's a good amount of papaya milk i would say now i am transferring clips i'm uploading clips to my hard drives and stuff i do this every single night when i'm traveling just so that way i can like upload it and my editor can download it and stuff like that just to keep everything on track another thing i do is every single night when i come back to the airbnb i write down and log everything i spent money on and like the prices of everything because i find that when i don't do it every single day then i lose track and then i forget and i usually like to include prices in my videos so i don't want a situation where i forget how much each thing costs but anyway all that to say i am gonna shower get ready for bed but also i need to pack because tomorrow we are going to japan Yay! <laughs> I need a pack for Japan and our flight is at like 9 a.m. But 
since it's the international flight, we want to get to the airport like three hours early, so like 6 a.m. And then it also takes time to get to the airport. So basically, we're gonna leave the Airbnb at like 5 or 5.30 ish, which is super early. <laughs> so hopefully I can like pack up all my stuff and go to sleep early so that I'm not dying at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I still think it will be a whole thing, but it's gonna be worth it because we're going on the Hello Kitty plane. Ah! <laughs> I've literally seen pictures of this plane for like hella years, literally like forever. And I've always wanted to go on it, but I didn't really know like, what was the deal? Like, oh, do you just have to get lucky? And then you can go on the Hello Kitty plane? Like, I thought maybe it was random. I just never like looked into it, but it only flies to and from certain airports. One of them being to Japan at the Sapporo airport. So we actually are not flying straight into Tokyo. We're flying to Sapporo and then we're flying from Sapporo to Tokyo because we want to be on the Hello Kitty flight. And I wish that they had one straight from Taipei to Tokyo that was a Hello Kitty flight, but they don't. So yeah, I'm super excited about the Hello Kitty flight. Of course, I'm gonna film the whole thing. Literally, that's also kind of the reason why we booked it because I wanted to film it for content and that's gonna be on the main channel. I'm so freaking excited. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna sign off for the vlog. So if you made it this far, comment below. Ah, Hello Kitty flight. <laughs> that's just me being hella excited about the Hello Kitty flight. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!